Did I do it? Hello? There's six people waiting. That's nice. Hello. Hello to everybody. <laughs> and how's it going? Happy, what day is today? Today is Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturdays, everybody. I don't know what happened. Hold on. We are getting the chat all pulled up to the side so we can read everything that you guys are saying. Yes. So give us just a quick second. Uh, hello, Eileen and Sarah. And hello, oh, Eileen. Belly Rubber says, I'm in Miami and it's bad. So yeah, oh, we've yeah. been we've been keeping an eye on the situation. Um, sorry, I was trying to get a little bit closer. And um, I hope everybody's okay. Yeah, it's like very flooded down there. Yeah, which I knew that that was something that uh, Miami, like down south, just not even just Miami, but like the surrounding cities as well. I knew that was something that they were preparing to deal with. Yeah. With the like storm waters and everything. Um, hopefully it recedes soon. Yeah. You know, because the way that Florida works is the the rainwater goes down into the aquifer. Right. So hopefully it's not flooded for long. Or even in Miami, it just goes out into the ocean. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know what kind of flood it is in Miami oh, if it's it a storm surge. Topical instead of tropical storm in the title. Oh, well, it's a topical storm. <laughs> We'll try to fix that. <laughs> um, how is it in Orlando? So in Orlando, we just had kind of like a rainy day, but it we were prepared for worse weather than I think we got. Um, Alex says it is their six-year-old niece's birthday. So happy oh, birthday to Evelyn. Happy birthday, Evelyn. Yeah. Um, they said Storms my neighborhood... My neighborhood is all underwater. See, that's so scary. Yeah. Um, Alexa said, I'm here in Miami. The floods are crazy. I hope that hopefully it. Um, hopefully it goes down quick. Yeah, we're definitely. Because it's it's wild because over up here, literally nothing. Well, no, we did have some rain, but yeah, it, it wasn't like, it's like a, it was down there. Like a normal rain. Oh, Ali said, I just started sleep training my son. Wish me luck. It's so oh, hard. Good luck. So what we used was the Ferber method, and um, I feel like, although it was tough, it took three days, and we, like, I th maybe we got lucky, but it, it was uh, a tough three days, but well worth it. Yeah, after day three, the whole night, he yeah, slept through it. He slept for 12 hours, and he still, he still sleeps for 12 <clears> hours a night. <throat> yeah. So I recommend the Ferber method if that's something that you are, like, trying to figure out which method to use, but it worked for us. Um, oh, Styling Contrast said, did you watch the new episode of The Boys? We'll see. There are three episodes out. Four episodes now? Mm -hmm. When I looked yesterday, there were three episodes. Mm -hmm. I didn't watch the whole thing. I came into the kitchen, and we talk about this in an upcoming home vlog, but I came into the... I was like, what are you watching? I could hear it sounded like something interesting because I was editing. I was in the office. And um, I was like, I went into the kitchen, and I was like, what are you watching? And he's like, oh, I'm watching the new episode of The Boys. And I was like, what? Without me? And he's like, you don't even like this show. And I was Who? like, we literally watched <laughs> seasons. Who? We binged seasons one and two. Like, we Who? we both loved the show. Who watched uh, Stranger Things ahead of me? I didn't watch it ahead of you. You oh. did? <laughs> what is that? But I, I wasn't really watching it. I wasn't I really it. watching this. Yes, you were. I was doing the dishes. <laughs> okay. That's exactly the same thing as you not watching Stranger Things because you're no, doing something else. I was editing. I just had it on in the background. Yeah, I just had oh it on gosh. in the background. What the heck? Um, LC says, what is The Boys? So it's a show on... Amazon. On Amazon. But it's about like superheroes, but it's more of like a gritty... Um, a lot of blood and guts. Yeah, it's very gory. It's definitely more like risque i guess like the language they use and stuff like that it's it's n it's definitely not like marvel or no. dc or anything like that it's it's more gritty uh but it is so good it's such a good show oh no scott says they're leaving disney today oh no i know Dang. um hopefully you'll get to come back soon yeah oh no nikki said this is my husband and my fight all the time who went on who went ahead on certain shows <laughs> We don't normally do that. We don't normally yeah. go ahead on the shows. I just have a really bad memory. And so I never go ahead on the shows. Jen sometimes <laughs> does. But I'm not really watching it. And so I just, I thought that she, that we didn't watch 
the boys together. I thought I watched season two by myself. No, we watched it together. But we watched it together. Um, Emmy, the animator, says, have you watched Obi-Wan yet? I haven't watched the new episode. I watched the first two episodes. I don't know if I'm going to watch it. I feel like that's something that you can watch by yourself. I think you will like it. I just, I I think I need to get through, um, like, I want to watch the boys. I can only really handle, like, three shows at once. And they're all real housewives or below deck. (laughs) No. (laughs) Um, so. Is this what marriage is? Yeah, I think so. (laughs) Um, that's really funny. The storm is not bad here in Orlando. It's not bad. We're definitely getting more rain than I thought we would. And then, um, we, I I was more concerned about everybody down South. I just finished watching Real Housewives of Dubai. I haven't seen it. I feel like I, I gotta wait for a few episodes to come out and then I'll watch those, but I haven't watched it yet, but I've heard good stuff about it. Um, Nikki says, oh, hi, Nikki said that Below Deck Down Under is so good. Uh, We don't have Peacock. Oh, I didn't know it was on Peacock. Yeah, they do this thing where they did it with the... I'll be right back. I forgot to turn down the air conditioning, so I'm going to turn it down. Oh, yeah, it's pretty hot in here. But they do this thing with um, the Bravo shows on Peacock, or I don't know if they're... I guess they're... I guess they're not Bravo shows, but they're on Peacock, or they are... I don't know how it works, but they do, like, Below Deck, Real Housewives, um, Girls Trip, The Ultimate Girls Trip. They do those on Peacock, and then... You have to pay for Peacock, but we already pay for so many other streaming I don't services. Think you actually have to pay. I think there's a free version of Peacock. Yeah, but I think that you have to pay eventually. Yeah, if you don't want commercials. No, I think it's really. I'm pretty sure you have to pay for those shows. I don't know how any of it. Works. I just I was talking to my hairstylist about it, and she was like, "I just use my sister's code," and I was like, "Oh man, <laughs> lucky you." Um, but Did anyway, you ask her if we could use her sister's code. <laughs> no, but anyway, eventually those shows come to Bravo. So like Real Housewives of Miami came to Bravo. It mm-hmm. just was after the season aired on Peacock. The Ultimate Girls Trip came to Bravo. It was just after it aired on Peacock. So I'm hoping that Below Deck Down Under will also come to Bravo eventually but i've heard good stuff um okay. jill said i'm going to homecoming later any recommendations i love yes. their fried green tomatoes are so good yeah get the hot honey thigh high biscuits is that what they're called yeah those are really good if you like salads their icebox salad with um fried chicken is really good and then i think they have some new menu items for summer yeah there was something else that we had that was really good i think they have like chicken and waffles now oh yeah they yeah do. so um, honestly anything you get there is delicious Hello from West Palm Beach. Stay dry. Yeah, no, I hope you stay dry. Is it raining over there? Yeah, West Palm Beach is pretty far south. Mm. Oh, we haven't seen the Bob's Burgers movie yet. No, but I've heard good stuff about that too. Yes. Are you going to go to H2O Glow? At some point, I'm sure we will. Yeah. We've been before we went, well, whenever it happened last. It was, I think it was... Two... 2019 or 2018? Yeah. It was before Jackson. So it had to have been yeah. 2018. Um, but we had a lot of fun. It was so good. Oh, Chloe's at Pecos Bills in the Magic Kingdom. Whoa. How exciting. Something... Oh, yeah. Did you see SeaWorld's new coaster? Yeah. I'm yes. interested to see more about it because it seems like it's not going to be very inclusive. Why? It's a standing coaster. Oh, so maybe the, the restraints are going to have like limitations. Yeah, but also like, can you ride it if you can't stand? Oh, I don't know. Do yeah, you I have don't know. to like, I'm sure that there's like a seat underneath you. But like, is there a, is there like, what's the minimum height requirement? Is it harder for tall people? But does the seat move up and down? I don't think there would be a seat. I think there has to be. Like, you mean something like between your legs? Yeah. I see. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that would work. I also don't know how that would work for people who are in like wheelchairs. Yeah, that's one of those my questions. Mm, that's a good point. If anybody's ridden a standing coaster before, let us know if you have any insight. Um, what are your thoughts on... It's also on... launched, too. I think it's the first launch standing coaster. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah. Um, Michael said, what are your thoughts on the Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster? So we've done a couple videos it on it. Fantastic. We love it. Yeah, definitely watch um, those two videos that we did. It was it was fantastic, honestly. I, I think it's something that everybody should ride if they can. Yeah. Oh, it says there's a seat. Isabel said there's a seat that moves up and down. Okay. Um, Michelle said, are there any more cruise vlogs coming? So there is one more cruise vlog coming. It's not coming out tomorrow, but it is coming out the next day. So Monday will be our final dis, disembarkation, yeah. deembarkation, disembarkation, disembarkation, right? 
Debarkation. Debarkation? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I was what like, what is this word that's coming out of your mouth? <laughs> um, it's our debarkation day, our haul video, and then we just answered a couple of questions that we got. So that will be out on Monday. Yeah. Uh, any tips for someone scared of roller coasters? I I don't know. Start small. I would say start like with a kiddie coaster and kind of work your way up. Yeah, that's a good call. I good think ball. if you haven't, if depending on what you're scared of, if you're scared of coasters with like loops, I would try to ride um, rock and roller coaster because it's an indoor coaster. Oh, to like conquer your fear of loops. Yeah, because okay. it, that one has a loop. But because you're indoors and it's like black all around you, like there's not real, it's not very well lit. You can't really tell that you're going upside down. Okay. So I all feel right. like that's a good way to like start with a looped coaster. Yeah. And then move to like outdoor looped coasters. Right. My first coaster with loops was Kumba. Yeah. Which is pretty like, that's pretty intense. <laughs> I have no idea what my first looping coaster was. <laughs> that was so long ago. Um, also, if you would like to try something that has a loop but doesn't go upside down, you could try Rip Ride Rocket. That one, that's just a scary coaster. It is a little bit scary. Sorry, go down really quick. I want to see what Susan said about standing coasters. Susan. Susan says, standing coasters can be very uncomfortable, lots of head banging and very limited restraints. Yes, you have to stand and not be too tall or large. Not my fave. So I guess okay. that would be something to keep in mind if you're excited for this coaster, that it may not be as uh, like accessible and inclusive as other coasters you've ridden. Right. But I did hear that it is because it's a new standing BNM. They have made some like adjustments to the restraints. So it's mm -hmm. like a vest style restraint rather than a hard restraint. Oh, okay. That's cool. So, yeah. <clears throat> my husband hates roller. Okay. Nicole says my husband hates roller coasters and he did like rock and roller coaster. So there you go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we haven't tried this month's Gideon cookies. Gideon's no, cookies. I really, really want. So they have a pride cake out, which is their, um, I think it's like a confetti cake yeah. with a marshmallow icing. Okay. And it sounds so good. It looks beautiful. What um, was their cookie? I can't, I don't, I don't remember what the cookie was. Let I just remember the cake, but I'm super excited to try the cake. Um, Trisha says when, oh, where does the amazing race come out? So a few months ago, I think it's been a few months now, Tim participated in the amazing race Orlando, which was benefiting give kids the world. And we filmed your like viewpoint of the day. And then last year, they gave the final video to us to put on our channel. Um, so if you want to watch last year's video, you can do that. This year's video, we're not sure where they're going to be posting it. So um, as soon as we know, we'll let you know. But hopefully, we'll, you guys will be able to see it soon. Oh, no. Mariah <laughs> said, not to alarm you, but there's a creature on your couch. <laughs> oh, no. That's uh, just gizmo. Just gizmo. <laughs> um, white chocolate caramel macadamia nut cookie. Mm, okay. Rainbow crunch cake. Uh, what is it? It is three layer vanilla confetti cake covered with multicolored marshmallow buttercream laced with our mega crunchy rainbow crumbs. It looks so good. Oh, yeah, we, that missed looks it. Nice. we missed it last year and I was super sad. So I want to make sure that we get it this year. Um, Somebody asked a question and now I can't find it. Oh no! What was it? Sorry, oh, no. I wasn't. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at that. What is it? Did you stay one bedroom conch key? What is that? Is that the um, Grand Floridian? Conch key? Yeah. Was that Grand Floridian? Yeah. Where did we stay? What was the name of the? The it was called the Ever Everglades Everglades Suite. Ah, uh, okay. I don't remember which like which building it was in. Yeah, I think which it was building? conch key. It might have been. But we loved it. It was amazing. Yeah. Um, Benjamin just says, hey, can you read this? Yes. Yes, yes we can. <laughs> Have you tried the chocolate wheelbarrow at Universal? What is this chocolate wheelbarrow? <laughs> I don't think I've heard that. Me neither. Um, Old Key West or Saratoga Springs? Ooh, I like Old Key West better. But Saratoga Springs is closer to Disney Springs. So when we stayed at Saratoga, that's where we stayed at the um, the tree, tree houses, house, right? Yeah. I really enjoyed the tree houses, but I think what it was for me is that that was our first stay. Mm -hmm. um, that was we we stayed during the pandemic, but it was our first like staycation with Jackson, right? So I think for me, it holds like a different meaning. It has like a different okay. So it's hard. It's hard because I have like this this um, 
like memory attached to it. It's not just like which is better, the tree houses or Old Key West. Right. And then when we went to Old Key West, it was for your birthday. Mm -hmm. And we had a suit. We had a great stay. Um, They were both really great for different reasons. Yeah. Ooh, what do you think Jackson, what do you think is Jackson's favorite Disney park? He loves Epcot for some reason. Like <laughs> he, so funny. I don't know if it, he <laughs> loves going to Epcot or if he just loves knowing what Epcot is. He'll say like, can we go to Epcot? <laughs> yeah. He's just like, I don't, he'll wake up in the morning and just be like, can we go to Epcot? <laughs> He's so funny. Like, oh, okay. So I feel like his favorite park is probably Magic Kingdom because it has the most rides, but he asks to go to Epcot. Right. Um, Disney Taurus says, I like the atmosphere of the tree houses. Same. I love that yeah. you're up high. You can look down on the water. Uh, I love that there's foliage like all around you. It just feels like you're not at Disney, but you're also still at Disney. Right. And I, I love that feeling. Here's what my complaints about the tree house were. What? It's a pretty good distance from your car to the tree house. Oh, okay. In the yeah. dead of summer, carrying all your luggage, and then you have to go up a flight of stairs. <laughs> it was pretty hot. That's that's not fun. No, but the um, actual treehouse stay. And then stuff is far away from the treehouses, like food choices. Yeah, that is true. No, that's very true. Same um, thing with Old Key West, though. Like, it was pretty far away from food choices, but it was close to the car. So I just be like, boop, pop in the car, head over. Really quick, Butterfly B88 said, is Jackson tall enough for the brown roller coaster yet? Yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> he is. And I'm so excited because um, hopefully soon... We will get to uh, take him on it. Like he, that's something that he asks, for, like pretty frequently. Yeah. So I hope that we'll be, get to do that soon. But I think that's something that, in order to get the, because it's a paid lightning lane, right? An individual lightning lane. So I think we have to be staying on property to really get it, or we have to wait in line. Just get into the park on an early day and just like run back there. No, I mean you can purchase it as soon as you're in the park. Oh, okay. If you if the park opens at seven or whatever. You know. I just think for us, it would be easier to do that if we were staying on property. Yeah, it would be easier just to stay there. So we're going to definitely try to do it soon because um, I, I really would like for him to ride it. Yeah. Or just wait in line. Yeah. He would not like I don't think waiting in line for 90 minutes. Yeah, I don't think he would wait in the line. Um, Katie Lou said, are you still using your cast iron pan? Do you like it? So we were using our cast iron pan like daily. And then Tim for Mother's Day got me the, what is it called? The anywhere pan? Any pan. The pan. A- any pan? Any, I don't know. What is it called? It's from our place. I saw it on Instagram. And I know that sounds really silly, but I saw it on Instagram and I was like, this looks amazing. So it it has, um, like, you can cook anything in it. It doesn't stick. Let me find out the name of it really quick. I can find out pretty quick. I'm sure they send, they send me 16 emails a day. The any one of Yeah, it's one of those websites. Oh, no. Where, like, as soon as you buy something, they're like, oh, we only sell one thing. They just sell pans. That's it's all they sell. It's called the Always Pan. Yeah. That's what it's called. It's from a company called Our Place. And we got the pan, we got, and the pot. And they are amazing yeah we use the pot much less than the pan but it doesn't nothing sticks to it and you um like it cleans up so super easy Mm -hmm. it's just it's such a great pan to have um so i highly recommend it it is expensive but i feel like you you have to kind of invest in good like cookware good cookery yeah um any more trips thoughts on chicken Mm. um is that a chicken Look at all those chickens. I have a clip on my phone of Goofy saying that. (laughs) He was on Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and he walks in and goes, look at all them chickens. (laughs) And I was like, oh, Goofy. Um, So we do have a trip planned. We're very excited. We can't wait for it. And then um, the next, I think the next thing after that is just going to be our wish cruise. Yeah, we have a couple of small stays here and there. Oh, okay. But our next like really big one is going to be the cruise on the wish. Yeah. Um, Royal Caribbean cruise is planned. No, but. but so as soon as we got back from our cruise with Tim's parents, Tim's dad actually called Tim and was like, hey, we had so much fun. Let's do it again. Um, and then Tim was like, yeah, we're looking at Royal Caribbean. And your dad was like, oh, awesome. Yeah. He's like, do it. They've got a lot of good deals right now. And I was yeah. like, all right. So I think it will definitely be happening and it might be another family cruise. So indeed. Ooh, how do you feel about the carnival ship fire? I was on it. Oh, my. It looked really scary. I don't yeah. know. Like, what was the outcome? I don't know. What, it, what what caught on fire? The funnel? I have no idea. I just saw a quick clip of it on fire, and I was like, oh, that doesn't look good. 
Yeah, it looked super scary. Um, ooh, what what was your favorite thing about the Adventures by Disney that you did? So that trip was super special because that was actually the day before we left for that trip was the day that we found out we were pregnant. Mm-hmm. So the trip itself was like a very special trip. And we did the Southern California Adventures by Disney. Yeah. And it was um, it was a lot of fun. I think the behind the scenes stuff was really cool. We got to see Walt's apartment. That was like super emotional, really, really neat, cool experience. Yeah. As soon as I walked in, I was like, welcome to Walt's apartment. <laughs> uh, there was actually, so Guy Hutchinson is a guy on Twitter. He has a podcast, like a Disney podcast. And he did some research about the lamp that's in the window. Oh, yeah. And it's it's a myth. Oh, it's not? Like They didn't turn it on? For... It's not Walt Disney's lamp. Oh. It's just a lamp that they bought. Oh. <laughs> um, Walt never turned it on when he was in the park. It was just like people knew if that light was on, he was in his apartment, so he was in the park. But every time he was in the park, he wouldn't turn on that light. What? So who? when was it on then? When he was in the apartment. What? So like he would go to the go to the the story was that Walt would turn on the light whenever he was in the park so people knew that he was in the park. Oh, but he wasn't actually in the apartment. Yeah, that that's not true. He was just he, like at the park. Right, that's the story. Oh. The real thing is he only turned it on when he was in the apartment. Wait, that was such a confusing way to tell that story. It was? Yes. It makes perfect sense in my head. So, you are saying that the myth The myth is that he would turn on the light to let everybody know that he was in the park. Okay, but the real story is that he would only turn on the light if he was in the apartment. Right. Okay. But he would go to the park and the light would not be on. Right, okay. Because that's wasting energy. Right. So. <laughs> and I guess Lillian has the lamp, like the actual lamp. Or she's dead. I was going to say, is she still but, <laughs> Whoa. But she came and like took it after he died. Oh, okay. And they just like put up another one. But... How did he find that out? Like, who's who knows the real story? He found pictures of them in the apartment, and it was a different lamp. Mm, okay. He found the lamp that's there for sale, and they just started selling it in, like, the 80s. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> um, She's dead. <laughs> that, that's not funny. No, no, it's um, just that's what it says right there. Vanessa says, any plans for a stay at Animal Kingdom Lodge? So we have stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge a couple of times. I think a couple of times, right? At least once. Yeah. Um, and it was great. Honestly. We stayed was, there twice, yeah. Was it twice? Yeah. We we really, really liked it though. We stayed for a like a Disney sponsored trip where we kind of visited like a bunch of different resorts, but we stayed at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. The only thing I don't like about the Animal Kingdom Lodge rooms is that the um the lighting is so yellow in the yeah. rooms. Like even in the so if you if you're doing like your makeup or something like that, or if you're vlogging, you you typically want like more blue light yeah, like a like, whiter light yeah like a brighter instead of like a such a yellow tone that's the only thing that i didn't like is the lights are so yellow and that might have been something for the animals oh okay that makes sense somebody had a question that i wanted to answer where are we uh oh that was crazy looking <gasps> um did you guys know about roy disney's house what is that I don't know. What about it? I want to know. Oh, Emma, this is a great question. Random question. How hmm. did you go? How did it go with the sheets for Jackson with the built in uh, pillow? Would you recommend what brand were they? Um, I would not actually recommend them. Right. He did this thing where he and I think we talked about it in a follow up video, maybe for just a second, but I can't remember. Um what he would do is he would lay on top of the pillow. Yeah. Right. He wasn't. So the pillow was basically like supposed to be a like a barrier around him just to keep him in like the sleeping position. Right. But because he didn't start out using that that inbuilt pillow sheet, he just would like lay. He just he kept like rolling around it. Yeah. So I wouldn't recommend it personally. We didn't. We um, we still have it, but he, we don't use it. Yeah. We used it for a couple of days and we found that it just like made it harder for him to sleep. But if you're starting out with the sheet, so like if you have an infant and you're well, starting out. I don't know out, what age you're supposed to start them with, with pillow sheets. Okay. Well, if you start them out with whatever the the lowest age is, then maybe you'll have better luck than we did. Right. He just already had his like sleeping routine and the pillow was not like, it didn't work with him. So I wouldn't recommend it. I don't remember the brand name though. 
Oh, Roy Disney's house was circular. Okay. okay. All right. Cool. Oh, Allie said, did you get a Main Street Barbershop reservation? So I don't think they don't, you can you get them. You can't a, get it yet. Yeah, until the 28th. Not until the end of June. Yeah, but fingers crossed, you guys. Yeah. Think happy thoughts for us. Uh, what old theme park rides do you miss? Hmm. 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 <laughs> I miss World of Motion. I loved World of Motion. I don't think I'm like attached to theme park rides well, yeah. like some people are. I'm not attached to it. I would like to ride it again. I'd like to see it again just because that's something that I used to ride all the time when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And so I'd like to see it again now. Okay. And I've watched videos and like I just want to see if it like triggers memories riding it. All right. Which I, you know, can't be done. I feel like for me, I, I like... If I wrote it, I'm happy with that memory. Yeah. Like, I know there are people who are really intense about their theme park rides, like mm -hmm. like the Epcot purists and like all those people. I don't think that I'm that type of theme park fan. I think I'm just happy that I got to ride it. Yeah. But I'm also happy for a new thing. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I've I've had a pretty good run of riding stuff at Disney. Yeah, I mean, I think that's that's the other difference with us is that we've been going to Disney for so long mm -hmm. that we've I feel like we've done it all. Right. So it's like maybe not all, but like, you know, we've done a lot of it. Right. <laughs> so um, I think one thing that I wish that I had gotten to experience and this isn't like a ride. It's more of um, it's ho Horror Nights when they took over both parks. Oh, OK. Yeah. I wish that I had gotten to experience that. Yeah. That would have been cool. But yeah. I don't know if I did that or not. Um, thoughts on the new contemporary rooms? Any possible staycations? Um, the incredible themed rooms? I yeah, think they look what you're awesome. Yeah. They look so cool. And I think Jackson would really like them. I think so too. Yeah. I think maybe that'll be the place that we stay. Oh, when... to try to get the brown roller coasty? Yeah, to do yeah. the brown roller coasty. Um, I do miss Maelstrom, is what Kathy says. Oh, okay. Are you going to see the new Jurassic Park? I feel like we will probably not see it in the theater, but we will watch it on streaming. If I had to guess, what? Somebody said, Tim, what's the best hot dog on property? Answer it for me, Jen. Which one? What's the best hot dog we've ever had at Disney? They don't sell it anymore. I talked to somebody. They might be bringing it back. To where? Disney Springs. Where, though? The hot dog tr truck. Oh, really? Yeah. Who said that? Is it a secret? It's a secret. Oh, okay. <laughs> So there was a hot dog that was made popular on TikTok and it was called the King Dog and it was so weird, but it was so delicious. So it was like a like a Thai peanut butter. So you know how when you have Thai food, they'll have like a peanut butter sauce with it's like a super savory peanut butter with like soy sauce. It's kind of spicy. Um, and then it also had a like a jelly, but it was not like a super sweet jelly. Right. It was a had a special name. But it was so nice with the peanut butter sauce. It was like the best hot dog ever. Yeah. So hopefully they bring it back. And it was back. on a, a French toast bun. Oh, it was so good. <clears throat> it was awesome. Yeah, it was amazing. If they bring it back, we'll we'll go try it again just to make sure it's still really good. But uh, what's... favorite Disney cruise ship? I like the Fantasy. Fantasy is really good. So far. Yeah. So yeah. far. <laughs> Um, I did get some questions about like what was the difference between the dream and the wish because they're basically like clones of each other. They're like sister ships. Like the fantasy and the wish. Sorry. Or the fantasy the and the dream. dream and the fantasy. Yeah. Hold on. Let me rephrase that. Let me say the way that again. You said that story was very confusing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, but I did. I got some questions about because we had just gotten off the dream and then we immediately went on the fantasy and we like the fantasy more. Because it has an additional um, splash, splash pad. pad. But we didn't actually play on it this time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I Jackson don't know. did. Right, okay, yeah. I, I wish we had gotten more use out of that splash pad. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then I like the, uh, the night club area of the fantasy better. Oh, did you? I think With so. With the tube? Yeah, the tube. The tube. Okay. And the La Piazza. Yeah. Okay. We um, had a lot of fun doing trivia over there. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Um, 
Ooh, must go Orlando restaurants. What are your like must do Orlando restaurants? I think for me, it's hard right now with COVID because we're not eating indoors, but in a in an ideal world where we feel comfortable eating indoors, I would say Bull and, and Bear. Bear. Wine Bar George. Ooh, love Wine Bar George. And they have outdoor seating. Homecoming. Love Homecoming. Boathouse. Love Boathouse. Both have outdoor seating as well. Tijuana Flats. Oh, yeah. I like Tijuana Flats. Um, uh, I, I love Bento. I that's not that... a, it's not an, a, an Orlando thing. Where, <laughs> but it's so me, delicious. Tijuana Flats is, is still just in the southeast. Yeah, they're they're outside of Florida, but they're delicious. Um, what else? What else is like a go-to... I feel like that's probably it for me. I like Vivo. Vivo is good at Universal. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I also like the kitchen for breakfast at our Hard Rock Hotel. It's definitely like very rich. Like everything that you get there is be be ready for like a really heavy breakfast, yeah. but, but a good breakfast. Um, Melinda said more TikToks, please. Okay. I think so. I Maybe we'll try to film some TikToks this week sometime. Okay. We'll try. We'll we're putting try. it. We're putting it on our list of things to do. All right. Um, dinner at Tim and Jen's. <laughs> What's that? Oh, for the, the best. Oh no. Oh, Hawkers. Oh, Hawkers yeah. yeah, Hawkers is really good. I forgot about Hawkers. Um, Ooh, is there another RV trip planned? No. I would like to stay at the campgrounds again for sure, though. That's something that um, is on my list. Yes. Ooh, how would you rate the boardwalk? I'm staying there for two nights as well as the Wilderness Lodge. We haven't stayed at boardwalk yet. We haven't. We need to stay there. Yeah. Okay. That was something that I was talking to Chris, our friend um, at the Holy Moly channel, the one that was on the cruise with us, and he they were staying at the boardwalk, and he's like, we love it, um, but we have never stayed there. Right. We got to do it. Somebody said, are you guys DVC members? Is it worth it? I need to go in there with a calculator because I tried to work it out, and it didn't work out to my I... advantage to... Do DVC. I want to talk to... So we ran into this family at, um, at Disney Springs. American Springs. Adventure. No, it was that American Adventure. Oh, that's Epcot. right. That's right. It was at Epcot. And the dad was a lawyer and he was like, I will... I will." He's like, I'd love to talk DVC with you. He's yeah. like, because I want somebody to go through the contract with me. Because I feel like when you talk to the Disney people, you know, they just want to sell you DVC. Mm -hmm. So they don't answer... They, they don't bring up certain things because those are things that could deter you from buying into the contract. So I'd like to talk to somebody who... But it, this person said that they love it. But still, I think as he, he would still be like an impartial person to read through the contract and say like... Here's my issue. I did the math and it wouldn't work out to our advantage until like year eight. Okay. And that seems ridiculous to me. To pay over what I would be paying now for eight years. Yeah. Just to be a member of DVC. Right. <laughs> and then after eight years, then it's like smooth sailing. You're getting vacations for like, you know, like three grand a year. You can stay a week in Hawaii. Right. Yeah. I think it's something that I would like to see if we can talk to, if we can talk to that family. Because they, they seemed like they would be able to, uh, I don't know, walk us through it, you know? Right. Um, Best fries on property. Where did I just have fries at Disney that I was like, oh, these are really good? At Disney? Yeah, there was some place. Oh, it was that Deluxe Burger. Oh, yeah, okay. Those were really good. Huh. Oh, what about resale? So the thing about resale is that you don't get all the perks. Yeah. There are certain things that Disney Disney doesn't want you to buy your DVC from somebody else. They want you to buy it from them. So they've started taking away certain things with the resale sales. Mm -hmm. So, and I also don't like that they can just change the rules at any moment. Right. Like that to me seems not cool. Here's something else that I don't like. What? Is you buy a specific amount of points. And then if you're like, oh, I'd like to like stay longer this year. Mm -hmm. You either have to like save from the year before and borrow from the, the year after. Right. Or you buy extra points, but you can only buy so many extra points. Right. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> what is that? Why? Why can why are they why are they limiting the amount of stuff why are they limiting the amount of money that I can give them? Because you're still giving them you're still getting it at a discounted rate. They want you to pay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rent them from like from DVC rental. It's the same price. Oh, I see. Like get out of here, Disney. Gotcha. Adam uh, does have DVC. I I I, I was thinking about doing that because what he did is he bought the minimum amount. Yeah. And I was like, you get the perks, and right. then you like get like. One or two nights here or there. He mm -hmm. also only stays in a studio. Right. Because he's just himself. 
I wish that was something that we could do, but with Jackson, we just need a little bit more space. Right. But yeah, we'll we'll have to see if we can talk to him about it too, just to get his his thoughts. Oh, worst place to eat at Disney Springs. I like this question. The worst place? Yeah, I'm gonna go with with T Rex Cafe. I think for us it was STK. Oh yeah, STK was pretty bad. It was horrible. Like it w- it was like the food was not you can get better food for less somewhere else. The food was crazy expensive. It was so loud. Like, no, like it was we couldn't even uncomfortably loud. Couldn't even talk to each other. Couldn't we, even talk to the, the server. Yeah, like he literally he he's like hear. he's like, sorry, say it again. And I'm like, why is the music so loud? I was like, <laughs> how are you like the music shouldn't be the most important thing at a restaurant? No. Um we still like the food wasn't horrible, but it definitely was not worth the price. I think that uh it, I did like the saxophone playing guy. Yeah, he was fun. Yeah, he did a really good job, and that was like good entertainment, but it was just so super loud. And I think there it was more for people who were like wanting to do like a bottomless brunch, like with the like the mimosas, the mimosas, the Bloody Marys. So it was definitely more of like a party experience, but that's not what we were there for. We just wanted food. So for us, for me, I would say STK. Literally, so many people are like, STK is so bad. <laughs> In Europe, STK is a club. But yeah. STK stands for steak, right? Yeah, it's supposed to, it's like a steakhouse. But it's like oh, a steakhouse here, club. Really quick. So um, we've I've seen this comment a few times. People have been asking, why are we not posting these like podcasts or these uh, live shows on our podcast channel as a podcast? Well, because they're on the regular channel. Well, but I guess it's easier for some people to listen to them in the car if uh... we post them as podcasts. I see what you're saying. I guess the reason why I don't see it as a podcast and why I didn't really think that that would be like a good idea to post it as a podcast is because there's no, <clears throat> it's not like a structured podcast. Right. And we're also just like reading comments. Yeah. So you, but also like, I don't know. Is that something we should do? If, if it's something that like a few people will, you know. What we'll do is in the, uh, in the community section of our YouTube channel, mm-hmm. we'll put a, a poll. Okay. And you guys can, can like, after we go off live here, we'll put up a poll and let us know. Okay. If you want us to put them, like... Well, I know at least I, three people have asked about it in right. this pod, in this live show. So it's something that we... I, what's, the, what's the harm in doing it? Nothing. It was just, like, replicating. Oh, you're talking about not posting it on the YouTube podcast channel. Just post it as a podcast on like Podbean. Maybe, yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. I would have to start recording it as we're doing it though. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Cuz if I just like do the playback, it's not as good of audio quality. Oh, gotcha. Okay, okay. Um Excuse me, sorry. Jake said, "Why did you stop the podcast? I really enjoyed them." We I didn't think stop it. We just had a hard time after having Jackson finding the time to here's what it is so we would film them at night um we would do the podcasts at night and nighttime for us after jackson goes to sleep is a time that we can just hang out together like not be filming just have like our time and it's also a time to get stuff done around the house too right so i think we just we just let it get away from us yeah and so that's something that we just have to get back on top of it because it's really just once a week that we would need yeah, to do it. Yeah, I think it. we just need to pick a day and like every every Monday at <clears> 7 <throat> o'clock we film or at 9 o'clock we record a podcast. Yeah. So we'll figure it out. We'll figure <laughs> it out for you. Um, so would you rather that? Would you rather these be on the podcast or actual podcasts? I think they're just saying they want to listen to this in the car. Okay. So like why not both? Okay. Yeah. Um, any idea when the HHN BOGO will be out? No. Um, Michelle said, any plans to visit Crispy S'mores in the UK? So I feel like the way that the travel is going, they'll probably come here before we go there, honestly. Like, just based on, like, the way that our timeline is this year. Mm-hmm. Um, but I would eventually like to go there, yes. Yeah. And I think Jackson would, would really enjoy that as well. Yeah. So... Do you know of a cheap place to stay in Florida? So we stayed at the Universal Dockside Resort. Oh, yeah. Um, was it Dockside Endless or Surfside? Summer, yeah. Either side. We loved it. Yeah. It was Rooms super are big cheap. and it's very affordable. It was loud, like kind of, it was louder than some other hotels that we've stayed at. But honestly, for the price, it was a good, 
compromise. Also, the fire alarm went off in the middle of the night. Oh, it did. <laughs> yeah. Which was kind of annoying, but you, that could have happened anywhere. Yeah, but it was honestly like it was such a good deal for the the hotel itself was just so nice yeah. for the deal. Yeah. I think you can get that like a, a two bedroom room for like $99 a night. Yeah, it was great. I definitely recommend it. Yeah. Best thing to do with a toddler at Disney. Are you talking about like attraction wise, ride wise, like souvenir Show wise? I think meeting the characters is fun. Yeah, kids love the characters, or at least Jackson does. Yeah, there are kids that don't like the characters. But we, yeah, we love seeing characters with Jackson. We love, um, uh, for souvenir wise, we really loved getting the uh, the silhouette for him. Yeah. Uh, I think that. What's another thing? The People Mover. He liked the People Mover. People Mover. He loved Small World. Dumbo. Dumbo. Small World. What else? Mermaid. Oh, yeah. He loved Mermaid. Pooh. Yeah. Um, And Disneyland, he loved the train. Yeah. He, like, super, super loved the railroad. Um. Oh, so Dr. J says, really want to go on Guardians of the Galaxy, but scared of motion sickness. Should I do it? So the video that we just put up. Yeah. You had some tips. I have some tips. <laughs> so the even number, that's two, four, six, eight. Mm-hmm. Even number rows have less movement than the odd number rows based on the pivot point of the ride vehicle. Yeah. But I have heard of people being terribly sick on Guardians of the Galaxy. I just didn't get so when we wrote it for the first time, Lynn came with us and she has like pretty severe motion sickness and she didn't have um, an issue at all. Right. So I I think it just depends. I think you just have to test it out. Right. And we did hear about people that were like wrote it like four times. And then on the fourth time, it like incapacitated them. Which makes from motion sense. Sickness. I mean, yeah, that's kind of a lot of rides. And then you said that they now have like barf bags at the end of the ride. So yeah. I know that it's definitely an issue that people are having. But I think it's one of those things that I think you just have to, you just have to try it. Yeah. Yeah. When I, last time I went, the, um, what do they call them? Alpha team. What's That's that? That's the paramedics went in. Ooh. XOXO Kaylee, Callie says, it's bad. I threw up after. Ooh. So I guess it just depends. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I guess it, if you're, if you're really, really worried about it, like if the motion sickness is really going to ruin like your whole day, don't ride it. Here's something that I do, and I don't know if this <clears throat> changes it, and I don't know how you could test this, because I don't get motion sickness. Well, I got motion sickness once on a tilt-a-whirl, yeah. and it was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. But um, the thing that I do when I ride is, so the vehicle turns, and I don't stay turned with the vehicle. Like, I'm not this. I'm this, you know? So, like... My eyes follow the track and then like whatever action is happening on the screens. But for the most part, if the vehicle is sideways, I'm still looking the direction of travel. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that changes everything. Like Star Tours bad? I don't know. Star Tours bad seems much worse to me than Guardians of the Galaxy. But I I don't know if people being like, I threw up all over the place after Guardians or after Star Tours. Hmm. Hmm. Is how easy is it, is it to stay at Dockside for a trip and still do Disney if you don't have a car? I think Disney's probably like twenty minutes away. So Sorry, I'm trying to read the comments. You and would to you. still. I mean, you'd have to take an Uber. Yeah. So I think that's if you're willing to pay for an Uber. I'm sure it's easy. You know. <laughs> What? Carmen said, what's the next next recipe for the Tracker Test Kitchen? Oh, man. Um, so we have, we got a, a magazine a while back that had some like iconic Disney recipes in it. And mm-hmm. there are some things in there that I would love to make. So um, hopefully we'll get to do that again soon. Yeah. Okay. I, I do like to cook. I would love to try to make <clears throat> a, um, a turkey leg. But I know uh, we need like a smoker. I think, well... I think I don't think that's included. Oh no! No. Oh okay. We just ordered a new grill. Yeah, and I thought it had well has a rotisserie thing on it. Yeah. Sorry. It has an infrared thing. Yeah. So I thought I thought we could do, but I guess yeah, I guess we need a smoker. Um. Do you know when Disney's very merry after hours tickets will go on sale? 
See, here's the thing. So they brought back Not So Scary. Yeah. So I don't think they're going to have Very Merry After Hours. I think it's going to be like a, Mickey's a regular... Very Merry Christmas Party. Mm. Yeah. We wish you the merriest. The merriest. Oh, Jamie said, have you done the motor car, the Amphicar at Boathouse? Is it yeah. worth it? We did do the Amphicar the, like, when it first opened, we did it. So this was like years and years and years ago. But we also got a deal because we ate lunch at Boathouse. It was like when Boathouse first opened. So we got it for a deal because we paid. Yeah, watch the video. Okay. Like we got the amount that we paid off of lunch? No, I, we just got it for a cheaper rate because we okay. ate lunch at the Boathouse. All right. But it was still like $100, wasn't it? Yeah, but it was less than it would have been normally. Okay, wow. I thought yeah. it was just, okay. Um, but I will say we also went at sunset and the weather was really nice the day that we went. Oh, it was awesome. I could see being in the middle of the day out there might not being as fun, like in the middle of summer or something like that. Yeah. But it was um, it was a lot of fun though when we went, but it was also a long time ago. Yeah. Um, have you heard anything oh. new about the Toy Story Land barbecue? Really restaurant? quick. Joseph no. said Boathouse offered that to us a few weeks ago, too. It's still happening. Oh, that's good. So, yeah. So maybe we'll do that again sometime. Yeah, because we love Boathouse. Uh, is not so scary worth it? First time going to WWW, I'm not sure if I should add it on. We love it. What is it? Sorry. Not so scary. Do you yeah. like not so scary? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's one of our favorite things. Yeah. Sorry, I was reading this comment by Robin who said you should take Jackson to Glazer Children's Museum in Tampa. And I immediately, because Blippi went there. Oh, really? And I'm like, I'm like, I think we went there. But no, Blippi went there and I watched the video. Blippi. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Blippi. Um, do you think that Universal will do a frequent fear pass? This happens every single year. People right. like freak out because they announce a house for Horror Nights and they announce like the tickets oh, are on sale tickets, for yeah. Horror Nights. And then... Then they're like, well, where's the frequent fear pass? It's going to come out. They just, they never release it the same day that they say they're selling tickets. It, it'll right. come out in a few weeks. Yeah. But definitely if you're going to go multiple times, wait for them to sell the frequent fear pass. By the way, Universal, not Halloween Horror Nights, Universal tweeted out a picture of the Islands of Adventure Tower and a grandfather clock and said, what's this? Oh, like Stranger Things. Like Stranger Things. Yeah. But that was it. That's all that they said. What did people say in the comments? They're like, oh, Stranger Things confirmed. Did it? And what did Universal say? Nothing. Sometimes Universal is just like trolley though too. Yeah, and it so. wasn't the Stranger Things clock. It was just a grandfather clock. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, that's one thing that I sort of dislike about Universal's Twitter account is that they they troll their fans sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like, And I, I don't think they should do that. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so who knows? Nobody knows if Stranger Things is coming yet. I right. think it would be silly, like, for them not to. Well, if they didn't get it, you know. I know, but it's such, like, it really lends itself to Horror Nights. It, this it's, season does, for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's, like, super. And when they did the Stranger Things houses in the past, they looked really cool. But they really, as far as somebody who watched the show and who loves Horror Nights, those houses let me down. Or that okay. house. Do they only do it one time? Or do they, they do, do it like twice? three times. Okay. They, they let me down every time. <clears throat> every time. They weren't scary. I thought that the most recent one was pretty good with the mall and everything. Okay. And like the giant Demogor or the Mind Flayer. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. The puppet thing. Yeah, I thought that was pretty good. Okay. Maybe I'm thinking of the first one. Yeah. So, and the same thing that I said this about the actual show is that I think that the first season I was like, oh, okay, this is good. Like, yeah. I can watch this. It's interesting. And then every season after that, I was like, okay, we'll watch it. You know, and then this season I'm like, this is what Stranger Things should be. Yeah. This is the show that I've been waiting for. Yeah, yeah. And Definitely. it's great. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, if you haven't watched it, watch it. It's so good. Um, but yeah, I think that they, if they don't use it as a house this year, I feel like they really will have missed the mark. Like, it's such a good show this season. Yes. So. Um, oh, Eileen says, or going both parks like some years ago. I don't think they'll ever do that again. No, because I think that they lose money because they leave Islands of, Vo of Adventure open later mm -hmm. for people that are not going to Horror Nights. Right. So Horror Nights or uh, Universal Studios will like close at five mm -hmm. and then open again at seven or whatever for Horror Nights. Yeah. But... If it closes at five, you're just like in, it's sort of the middle of the day still. Yeah, you're kind like of. Like you're on you're, vacation, you're like, it's five o'clock, I'm done now. 
Right. Yeah. And then you're you're losing all that money on like the families or the people who are not going to Horror Nights. Right. But then again, they make so much money with Horror Nights. So it's like, I don't know. I guess we have to wait and see. Right. Yeah. But also I think that <clears throat> the amount of employees, team members that you need for Horror Nights would negate the amount of money that you would make at Islands of Adventure. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So like you can you can make ticket sales for Islands of Adventure and food sales and still em- like have less employees working because you're mm-hmm. not you know 20 people in each house right 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 you know well but i wonder if they're going to do the same thing that they have been doing where it's like mannequins and plexiglass well yeah but they still there's still people there not like as many as there have been in the past right so i don't know i just wonder oh man what do you think of boba fett mando uh and everybody coming to star wars land Oh, at Disneyland? Disneyland. I'm so sad that they're not here. I know. Like, <laughs> but I guess people were saying that they're not going to come here because it would interfere with the Star Cruiser timeline. That seems like a silly thing. That's just what I just read like, on the don't, internet. Don't put them out during the excursion day. Right. Like. But that's like every other day, isn't it? No, uh, it's every three days. Hmm. Right. I don't know how that, I don't know how it works. Yeah. Maybe it is every other day. I thought it was every other day. Yeah. Well, that's fine. <laughs> like do it every other day then. Right. Like and it's better than nothing. Can you go to the new tribute store? We have a video coming out soon where I went to the tribute store. It was yes, nice. Yeah. I want to go. Yeah. Um, ooh, best restaurants for vegan food near Disney area. So here's the thing. We're not vegan. Um, we try to eat vegan like three times a week just for like environmental, like health reasons and stuff. Right. But we're not technically vegan. We still eat meat. Um, so we don't seek out vegan restaurants, but there was a restaurant that I heard a lot of people talking about. It was called Humble. Okay. Um, and then there's also the, the biscuit company, the Winter Park Biscuit Company is vegan. Um, and then there was the... What was the vegan place that we went to? Not Dandelion, but the... Was it Dandelion Cafe? Yeah, Dandelion closed. Oh, uh, okay. Um, but also, if you're at Disney Springs, it's not a restaurant, but Aaron McKenna's is vegan. Okay, right. That's a bakery. And then I know that like Blaze Pizza has vegan cheeses right. and a, like a gluten-free. I don't know if that's something that... I, I don't know if their crusts are vegan, but I know that they have a cauliflower crust. Right. Um, so there are vegan options at Disney Springs. Mm-hmm. As far as Universal City Walk, I don't know what kind of vegan options they have there. It's a good question. Yeah, we've there, never. There are vegan options at a lot of places at Universal, but, yeah, but there's not like a. It's all like Impossible Burgers. It's not yeah. like a very creative menu. That was something that I disliked about Universal's when they're like, we have vegan stuff, and we we did a vegan video back when I think it was back when I was pregnant. So it was a few years ago now, but. Um, it was all impossible stuff. Yeah. <laughs> they might like, be it might be changing. Yeah. So I don't know. Hopefully that helped a little bit. But um yeah. Have you done a VIP tour at Disney? Can you do a review soon? So we did do a VIP tour on Christmas Day, the year that we did the twelve oh. days of Christmas hot dogs. Yeah. The twelfth day on Christmas, we we did a VIP tour so that we could um do the hot dog, ride some rides, see the mm-hmm. parade. We um, Some friends invited us to it. And it was amazing. The only thing about the VIP tours is that they're hard to film for YouTube because you're backstage so much. Right. It's kind of a weird video because you're like, and now we're here. But we couldn't show you how we got here. Right. <laughs> so, um, so it's a little tough. But we had a really great time. Yeah, it was, it was really good. Yeah, it was amazing. Have they announced what's going where Shrek 3D is? No. I hope that they do soon, though. Oh, so the last angry man says, are you ever going to do resort reviews again from Springs? We miss King of the Bus. You did recently. Yeah. You went to Caribbean Beach and... Riviera. Riviera, yeah. And yeah. you start, Yeah, you did the whole... You were King of the Bus that day. King of the Bus. So check out that video. It was probably a couple of weeks old now. Mm-hmm. But if you go on to um, our channel and you search, there's like a little magnifying glass. You can go to... I think it's under the about like little section Uh and then under that menu there's a little magnifying glass like a search page you hit search and then you search 
whatever you want to look for. So Caribbean Beach is the one that I would search. Right. And that is, uh, that's how you'll find that video. I just realized what time it was oh, and yeah. we have a hard out. Yeah. So we need to, um, we got to, we got to end the live show now. Sorry guys. Right. So sorry everybody, but it was good. I enjoyed hanging out with you guys. Yes. Oh no. Oh, no. Christine said, I made it. <laughs> just got here. I'm Hope sorry. you guys don't leave soon. Oh, oh no. no. I'm sorry. So um, what you can do though is you can rewatch. You can do the replay of this live show and start it from the beginning. But I'm really sorry. So we are. Oh no. Cooper just got here too. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I'm sorry. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with, with us today. This is the video for the day. So we don't have um, like a, a like an edited vlog coming out. It's just going to be the live show. And then tomorrow look out for a fun we had so much fun, actually, in tomorrow's video. I'm super excited for you guys to watch it. Jackson had, like, the most fun that he's had. Yes. So I hope you guys watch it. I got, I got, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's, like, a little, a little scar through this tattoo right here. Oh, no. I got that filming tomorrow's video. <laughs> so we had a lot of fun. And then the video after that, so the one on Monday, is going to be the very end of our cruise series. Yeah. So it's going to be our de-embarkation. De debarkation. De debarkation. I don't know why I can't figure that word out. It's going to be our debarkation and our haul of like haul. the stuff that we got and, and answering some of your answering questions. Answering some questions, yes. Um, so thank you guys for coming to the live show. Yes. Uh, we will be back doing another live show at some point. In about a week. Probably about a week. Yeah, yeah. we're trying to do these weekly. So... Um, I don't know what day exactly. We never know what day exactly. Our schedule is just kind of funky right now. But soon. See you soon. Yes, we will see you soon. But we so, will see you tomorrow with a new video. Yeah. Where's my mouse? I need that. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for hanging out. Bye, you it was guys. good to see you guys. Yeah. Uh, and we will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Later, skaters. <laughs>